It's a constant storm to try to figure out what you're about and you change. At 26, you're all about the hustle, you're gonna be a billionaire, this and that, and then you go to the bar one night and you fall in love and it changes what you care about, right? And then you have a child and then this happens and then that happens. Things change. You just have to always consistently try to figure out what's driving you and not because other people are watching and not because that's what your dad wants and not that because that's what you said was gonna happen and it doesn't look like it and your family's gonna judge you. You just have to be as real with yourself as possible and that is a very difficult struggle but when you're not, you create enormous vulnerability and unhappiness. Truthful conversations redeem people. Because if you come to a clinical psychologist who's worth his salt, you have a truthful conversation. The conversation is, well, here's what's wrong with my life. And here's what caused it. You know, maybe it takes a year to have that conversation. And here's how it might be fixed. Here's what a, a beneficial future might look like. And so it's a completely honest conversation if it's working well. And all that's happening in the conversation is that the two people involved are trying to make things better. That's the goal. Let's see if we can have a conversation that will make things better. I think one of the factors in the resistance to these ideas of discipline and of taking responsibility for yourself is people recognizing that they're not doing that in their own lives and they get upset and instead of looking internally, they try to attack the thing that's upsetting them. They, they attack your message. They attack the philosophy behind it rather than look internally and objectively and having some sort of introspective point of view where you go, okay, am I uh, reacting to this because this is resonates? Like I'm, I'm missing this aspect of my life. Does this diminish me? Or is this guy pointing something out that I can benefit from? Very few people are willing to do that. Very few people are willing to take that critical moment to look at their own behavior and look at their own thought process and wonder if mm. the actual adverse reaction they have to this person's message is because they know that they're wrong. Start the process of becoming much more honest with yourself. It will help you make much better decisions and it will help you in the long run. It may not taste as fun or as glamorous in the short term, but it will put you in a much better position. Stop doing the things that you know are wrong that you could stop doing, right? So it's, it's, a, fairly, it's a fairly limited attempt. First of all, we're not gonna say that you know what the good is or what the truth is in any ultimate sense. But we will presume that there are things that you're doing that for one reason or another you know are not in your best interests. There's something about them that you just know you should stop. They're kind of self-evident to you. Other things you're gonna be doubtful about. You're not gonna know which way is up and which way is down. But there are things that you're doing that you know you shouldn't do. Now some of those you won't stop doing for whatever reason. You don't have the discipline or maybe there's a secondary payoff or you don't believe it's necessary or it's too much of a sacrifice or you're angry or resentful or, or afraid, who knows. But there's another subset that you could stop doing. It might be a little thing. Well, that's fine, stop doing it and see what happens. And what'll happen is your vision will clear a little bit and then something else will pop up that you will also know you should stop doing and that you could stop doing. And you could do that repeatedly for, for an indefinite period of time. And, and, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to ever be able to formulate a clear and final picture of what constitutes the truth and the good. But it does mean that you'll be able to continually move away from what's untruth and what's bad. And, you know, that's not a bad start. Discipline it does start with waking up early. It really does. But that is just the beginning. Discipline is the root of all good qualities. But you have to absolutely apply it to things outside of just waking up early. It's, it's everything. It's working out every day, making yourself stronger and faster and more flexible and healthier. It's about disciplining your emotions so you can make good decisions. It's about doing the tasks that you don't necessarily want to do, but that you know will help you. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road, to do what's right.